have just left our hotel. We are staying at the Mercure Hotel in the city centre. Very good location. However, not many options for parking, so we have parked our cares at the Wilson Car Park just across the road. And we're going to go grab our car now so we can explore all over Perth today. We're very excited. We've heard that it's a beautiful city. We're going to go and hit the highlights. And yeah, we're going to share with you guys all of Perth and what we think so far. Okay, we have come to the locals' favourite now and tourists' favourite as well. This is King's Park. There's a park perched up on the hill here and it overlooks the whole of Swan River. You can see the city skyline and there is a few memorials up here and some great lookouts. So we're going to have a little wander around and explore what there is to see. King's Park seems absolutely beautiful. It's really big actually. There's different sections, have like a botanical garden. Um, there's a memorial, some information on some history about the war. And it has the most impressive view of the skyline as well. So there's all these grassy areas and there's some people just having picnics or just like with friends. There's people doing exercise, but this park is really nice and the view that you have of Perth is probably the best in the city, I'm guessing. Uh, we'll have a little adventure around. We've heard South Perth has a nice view of the city too. But yeah, if you have a little look that way, you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, we are at another beautiful part of King's Park. There's lots of little nooks and crannies to this place. It's actually really big. I'm situated on top of, I think it's Mount Eliza. And yeah, you just get all these views of the Swan River. Uh, lots of little places to have picnic. And the gardens here, like the lawns, are just so beautifully manicured. But from here, you can see down to Elizabeth Key, which is another cool spot we're gonna take you to later. But first, there is a little bridge down here, which is super cool. Um, it is a wavy looking bridge, and I was here the other day running. I want to bring Charlotte to have a little look, so we're going to go check it out now. I want to go to the DNA Tower. Someone told us to go check that out. I think it's like a spiral staircase with a lookout. So we'll go there after you show me the wavy bridge. <laughs> the wavy bridge? Is it a yeah. wavy bridge or? It's probably, a, what's it called? Is there a sign? There's one up there. Of oh, Federation. Lottery West Federation Walkway. Guys, that is a terrible name. <laughs> I do really like uh, treetop walkways. <laughs> I don't know why, but I really enjoy them. Went to a really good one in Mount Tambourine in Queensland. But I think it's just cool to be above the uh, forest floor. Just different perspective, isn't it? Yeah. It's cool. It's a Good view. really nice view, but it's quite unique. That's really nice. And then it continues on the treetop boardwalk. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, jet ski is going so fast in the... It's not the harbour, is it? The river? River. In the river. It's a river harbour. River harbour. Harbour river. It's a big, big open river. It is a really big open river. And it's nice. It's not too brown like Brisbane. Yeah. <laughs> it's only very brown the river because they got rid of all the mangroves uh, initially years and years ago. It's quite fresh looking but isn't This it? one does look slightly blue, yeah it's nice. If you had to be honestly honest with me, yes. what are your initial impressions of Perth? How are you finding it? Uh, positive. Yeah. Uh, this park's really beautiful, the city seems really nice and clean. Yeah. Oh, so many, I think all of the city in Australia are clean, I think that's when you really notice when you come from Europe, like Australia is so clean in the cities. Um, yeah, liking it so far. Obviously the skyline is not as like as Sydney, like Sydney beats everybody in Australia. It's got so many iconic places there. <laughs> but um, It just seems that we're so close to so much as well. Like the ocean's very close, it seems like on the map. And there's lots to see all around Perth, I think. Yeah, and like, some things that people have said, you know, you have less than half an hour drive to get to most of the beaches. like. That is really great for a city. Yeah, we didn't have that in Brisbane. <laughs> no, living in Brisbane on and off for the past decade is always, you know, a good hour to get to like a nice beach in Gold Coast, you know, pushing two hours north yeah. and sunny coast. So 
When I first moved to Brisbane though, I really thought that it was like right on the coast. Like when you look at the map, you think, oh yeah, Brisbane's on, on the east coast. But it's not, it's like an hour away to any decent beaches. Yeah. Anyway, we're here in Perth and we are loving it so far. Okay, we are gonna go up here now. This is the DNA Tower, once again located in Kings Park. Um, and it looks like a good view from up there, so let's go. It's cool, but I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking at. You got the view over there, but there's some trees. And then a nice grassy walkway, but... I feel like this could be situated probably a bit better. Or maybe there's been a lot of growth around it since. You can see out to the river, nearly. Yeah, you can see a little bit. It's like a tease, isn't it? We have come to South Perth now, and it's this kind of open grassy area. There's a few people here just having picnics. It's a Friday afternoon. There's a few people just running. There's like a um, pavement that runs all along the waterfront. So there's a few people jogging. There's like a boat shed over there. There's like a restaurant and some drinks. Um, but yeah, you have this lovely view of a city and there's some boats. I guess people um, go out on the river here. It's just a really nice relaxing spot, isn't it? Yeah, it's a really cool perspective of the city and we're just finding Perth has a lot of nice parks and a lot of areas just to uh, chill, take a picnic. It's quite a green city, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, yeah. But so far, so good. Um, I think tomorrow morning we're going to go check out more of the actual city centre. So have a little walk around more of the CBD area. We're leaving our hotel now, nicely centred, right in the middle of the city and we're going to go explore the main city streets. There's lots of shops there, cafes, we'll probably stop for lunch and we'd like to head to Elizabeth Quay. Uh, that looks really fun there, looks really nice and probably just the main CBD district is what we're going to explore. We have parked in the City of Perth parking. There is a few of them located all around the city. But on the weekends, at the moment, you can get three hours for free. Uh, so we have just moved from our awesome parking and we've come to this parking, which is right in the city, great location. And we are gonna go and explore. Okay, we are taking a little wander down Murray Street Mall now. And this is the place that you probably need to come if you wanna do some shopping. Um, but it's a really, really nice mall. It kind of reminds me of like Southeast Asian kind of mall. I don't know, it's just like really green. It's really like shaded. It's an open mall. Um, but yeah, it's really pretty down here and there's always something going on, like music. Lots of shops to check out if you're into that thing. Um, but yeah, let's have a look. This one's pretty nice, has some cool like, artwork on the, on the walls and some like, up on the ceilings and just a few restaurants for lunch. I love this little section we found in Perth City. Um, so it's just like this really Shakespearean? European, yes, yeah, Shakespearean Tudor um, style like you find back in England. I really like it. Um, it really just takes you back for a minute, doesn't it? Especially with all the yeah, Christmas yeah. stuff up. It makes me think I'm in one of the European cities. Oh, there is a Shakespeare Everybody sign is. up there. Yes, it is a Shakespeare sign up there. But yeah. it's really cool. Yeah. It's definitely um, one of my favorite little parts in the sea so far. <laughs> it is so hot today in Perth. I can't believe it. Like A few weeks ago, we were like, oh, we'll take our time getting to Perth because everyone's saying it's still so cold. But oh my god, it's what, mid 30s today? Yeah, it feels very, very Thankfully hot. Thankfully, not as humid as it can get, you know, in some places, but still, it's really hot. Um, <laughs> now, we don't know what this building is, but it's very cool. It is very unique. We're not sure if it's just a landmark here in Perth or there's a, some kind of other use to it. We'll go and cross over and see if we can find out, though. It's the Bell Tower! Still not really sure. <laughs> Maybe we'll go in and get some information. But there's love locks all along the uh, railing here. That's a lot of love locks. 
you have to go pay to go in. I don't know if I'm going to pay, but they said they're closed later for a wedding. So I guess it's... A wedding venue. Yeah, maybe it's something pretty cool. I guess there's a good view from up there. It looks really unique though. But this whole area is really nice. This Elizabeth Key now here. I'm in Elizabeth Key. Uh, this looks like a really nice area. Let's go and explore some more. Okay, we are down at Elizabeth Key now and it is really nice down here. There's lots of like cafes, uh, residential apartments as well as short-term accommodation, hotels and things like that. We have some swans in the river. You've got a few boats out there. It looks like some sort of gondola. Maybe you can take some little tours. But it's a really nice little area to come and hang out. There's cool bridges over the water. Loads of jetties and art installations too. So. Let's go and check it all out. This is a landmark that I've always seen in lots of photos. It is this, I don't know what it's called, but I like it, it's cool. Situated in Elizabeth Key. Uh, it's very busy here today. I think they have some weekend protest movements happening. Um, so it's really busy down there. But I really like Elizabeth Key. It's really nice, isn't it? Yeah, it is super nice. It's a really nice area. They've got a little, um, it's not a Ferris wheel, what's it called? Merry-go-round. Merry-go-round. Um, that's pretty cute and I think this place in the week is like the, you know, very much a office CBD area, but it's very clean, very nice, very pretty. Some cool uh, buildings and landmarks. Oh uh, yeah, I like this area. From Elizabeth Key, like the water front side, it kind of looks like these are just loops, but when you get onto the bridge, you can see that they're angled. And uh, it looks really cool when you walk across it because it's like cantilevering itself up. Ah, so right in the center um, of Elizabeth Key is the island. It's connected by two bridges either side. We have now entered the island. Um, I'm going to see if there is something that I can drink to cool me down. <laughs> it's very, very hot. It's very hot today. Thankfully, not as humid. Oh, we'll talk about that. But this is definitely a cool little spot to come and hang out. There are loads of little like benches and seats and stuff where you can find a little nook to yourself. We also have a big pirate ship playground. Um, and then if you have a boat, you're welcome to come up and park here. I think it's 3p parking for boats, so three hours um, down at Elizabeth Key. And uh, yeah, we've seen a few people coming and checking it out on their little jet skis and stuff. So good, good times. So we have now stopped at the Island Brew House. I have a lovely fresh juice, which is just perfect today. Corey has a ale from the Little Island Brewing Company. They brew their own ale, is that correct? On site, he's very impressed. He's got one, he likes it and he's ordered hot chips. So he's a happy boy. Next stop is the leafy suburb of Applecross. And right now this place is very, very colorful because the jacarandas are in season. We remember these from Brisbane around this time of year as well. We used to go down to New Farm Park and check them all out. But in Perth, it is Apple Cross and this is the place to come if you want to see some jacarandas. You can just drive around the streets and there are loads. Thursday and anyone that's in Perth will know that that means the sunset markets are on in Scarborough. It got recommended to us a lot when we're reaching out to people asking what's to do in Perth so we thought we're going to check it out. It smells good, it looks good, I'm excited and my belly is very excited. <laughs> First impressions vlog would not be complete without a visit to Fremantle and that's where we're off to tonight 
We are going to go and check out one of the many recommended locations. This one is called Mother and it's in Fremantle. We're going to go check it out, have some food there for dinner. And Charlotte is absolutely starving, so she, that's why she is racing. <laughs> uh, we are, um, yeah, we're on our way to Fremantle now. Woo hoo! Okay, we have decided to come to Mother, which is a vegan restaurant, and we're very excited. Uh, their kitchen is open until 9 o'clock, so we have plenty of time to eat all of their delights. Let's go check it out. I have just ordered half a cauliflower. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're at Mother. It is an all-natural, um, house-made, uh, completely plant-based place. Uh, it's a restaurant and they have a little side store of all-natural products and they have like a um, area over there that has raw desserts, which I might get later. But for now, we've just gone for a couple of few dishes um, with some arancini balls, which is so exciting because arancini is really hard to find vegan. I think the last place we had that was in London. They were really good. And we've got that, some garlicky red potatoes and a big cauliflower dish, which sounds really yummy. So we've gone for that for now and then we'll see how we feel. Mm. But it's cool in here, it's a cool like, industrial vibe. on in my belly. <laughs> very nice, very yummy, yeah. Very nice plant-based food. I've done something a little bit naughty. I've gone for a little bit of a dessert. I didn't get something off the menu. They have a cabinet full of sweets and uh, I got told all about them all. Um, they all sound very tasty but I've chosen the picnic bar which has a chocolate layer, it's got a caramel layer, it's got a crunchy layer, Basically everything you want in a chocolate bar, so I'm going to crack into it now. And you've got two forks. I've got two forks, but I don't know why. Okay, so to wrap it all up, first impressions of Perth have been very good, yeah, I feel. Yeah. yeah, we're really enjoying it starting to get a better understanding of the, the lay of the land and how the city works. There's lots of highways around Perth and there is no toll roads which is a welcome change from Brisbane. Um, but usually it's about 20 minutes to sort of get anywhere in Perth. 20 minutes, half an hour. Um, so it's pretty easy to get around. Including the beaches. Yes. And the coast which is the part that I'm really really enjoying in Perth. So yeah we're going to be exploring a lot more around here. Alright guys, so go and subscribe and like this video and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.